America, America, America. But like to, uh, how do you say, it? Joe Biden me to an end. Okay, now, Joe, you got 20,000 executive orders flying off in your first you know, 24 hours of presidency. Alleg allegedly, that rhyme, by the way. Now, within that course, I, I, I done upgraded myself to errands. Salute to another sponsor, my errands. Shop with confidence. Key words, confidence. And as of right now, Biden, from the looks of things, you making so much of a haste and so much of a desperation to make yourself look above the nigga credit campaign. Uh, like I said, don't make the Democrats look bad by signing this executive order, allowing, um, well, continuously, well, seeing as though you're doing that, it should be free for Americans to cross that same borderline. I'm sorry about that. I got a little, little bit of, um, how you say that? Pop-ups. It's, um, I think more and more to myself, Biden got a lot of work to do, man. And in the process, I don't mind it. It's just more or less. I'm understanding that you got a, a programming system that you ain't putting up. You got Mexico free borders that you're taking down. And this no choke, no joke situation, it's bigger than that. And the nigga cracks expected more from you, Biden, because somehow, some way, you took the votes. But that's besides the fact. Your inauguration was, uh, uh, Bland. And uh, salute to those that did perform. Out of, uh, like I said, with your end, signing so many executive orders so fast. Desperation. <clears throat> Why? Because you told them that if they do this, they'll be on top with you. But in all reality, I think that you need to associate yourself more in a niggocratic way, which is establishing ground before making drastic and haste decisions. Because ultimately, I see uh, something that you may see in the near future, which is more was taking place now. But, like I said, stay at home, social distance. Wait, because if not, and then you still haven't established a way to reconstruct we can scrub the debt. Now, I have a way, but I'm seldomly not willing to give you those ideas yet, Biden, because of what you've done already. Biden, I said, already, Biden, you show me. You, oh, man. Come on. It's not checkers, man. It's just not that. <laughs> oh, man. And I said, I got to wait and to see how many gathered up for this idea which is to reestablish immigration across the Mexican border, not every border. Now that's your executive border. Now my executive border would be for every border because I need those travel agencies and travel um, countries to get well acquainted. But like I said, you take away the Muslim travel ban. But like I said, I don't want to um, put a ban on anything. And at this point, Considering as though you're opening up the Mexican border, you might as well get rid of um, establishments between, you know, boundaries where you don't need a passport anymore. You can travel freely around the earth if you can afford it. Like I said before, as long as there's no uh, international uh, blockage, you should be able to travel in and everywhere without a passport.
I mean, I'm going into your HRs and everything else, and I don't see nothing in there for the nigga crack shit. Nothing in there. That's why I got to establish ground and um, create something in there. My own, you know, executive branches and presidencies and congresses. The list goes on and on, man. It's beautiful, man. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. It's the... Uh, I said biting you in there now. We'll see what happens. But right now, I don't see nothing for the nigga crash, man. At this moment. Joe Biden, first full day in office. Executive orders. A radio host was shot to get a pardon because he never asked Trump for one. Like I said, I'm not going to ask for one because I know what you did. But, like I said, that would be dealt with at the proper time because I realize who's involved, what's involved, and what's at stake. Now, like I said, you show me all you can show me. <laughs> So, salute to your executive orders. I haven't yet to establish ground on that part. But, like I say, man, you'll see what I'm telling you not to do in the near future. <laughs> because, like I said, if you, if you do it to do it with one, you got to do it with all. And that's where uh, this thing gets a little ex extremely tricky. And, uh, hold up, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just stop that for a second, right, right. Because I got a pop-up, it just won't go away, and I'm understanding why it's not going away and why systematically my system keep doing it. Because Spider has some 10 extreme workers internet in my IPs. So go ahead, Biden. I don't, you know, necessarily need that. It's just an extra additive to my uh, triumph. <laughs> oh, man. Biden has Trump's Diet Coke button removed. Like I said, man, you can do whatever you want in the White House, man. But you in there... After, like I said, man, you, you, you need Obama, man. <laughs> you was a VP. And them giving the VP this position only lets me know what we're under. Because you can't elect a president. You had to elect a vice president. So, in drastic measures of that, in the Congress and everything else, leads me to a position restructuring government which you trying to do anyway but it doesn't restructure the way properly because you're doing it out of spite I'm doing it out of what you call it experience <laughs> yeah, experience um Polosky ready to sink Trump Impeachment. Or, nah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because impeaching an ex-president, he's no longer the president anymore. He gave it to Biden when I explained it to you. Not to let him, you know, slid it out of there like that. But he slid, he slid it out of there quick, man. I, I gotta, I gotta respect that part too. And could you please tell the American people what was in that letter, Biden? That little hands left you, cause. I'm looking at this correctly, politically, uh, <laughs> to elect a vice president. Like I said, you could have elected vice vice president Pence, but he took out, he, he bowed out gracefully because you needed more of a spectacle. And that's what you had. You had a major spectacle point in your spectacleism. I'm trying to get to the, to the, to the reality, which is my reality, the truth. <laughs> And the truth is, I won that night, electionally. But 
<laughs> somehow, some way, somebody needs some more ideas. And if they don't get the ideas, they'll act out. That's why we sign all these executive orders. We only know two or three of them, but the rest of them is in hidden sight. I want to get down to the dead and the grit. And you'll rather stall. <laughs> People in other properties. I'm sorry. People in other priority groups skipping the line for vaccinations. Listen, man, from the looks of things, some are getting, some are not. Some got the chip, some don't. And Biden, he thinks that he can change the world overnight with a few executive audits. Listen, man, it's too much going on. So, like I said, wait, or, like I said, deal with it. And it can be combustible, which it already is, because you're promising a group of individuals something that they think that you can provide. But in all reality, I done studied so much of this stuff. <laughs> Social distance. Wear a mask. Stay at home if you have to. Because some things took place and I don't want to cover up anymore. <laughs> Keeping your brain sharp isn't about working more. Um, Obviously, it has to be about working more because the work that it takes to obtain what the niggercrats have obtained uh, could take with Biden a lifetime to become the president. <laughs> Patriotic population health addresses, like I said, address whatever you need to address. But when you address what's taking place, which is you have a vice president that's a president. Anytime that happens, it, this constitutional law means that America was in something. I mean, we still is, which is a pandemic. But Biden says he wants to get out of that. But once you make a vice president a president, it's already it's already what it is. True. True. <laughs> President Biden takes office moving quickly, of course. Like I said, man, I wouldn't do it, man. You have to elect the president. <laughs> I mean, you could do that, but you elected the vice president out of desperation. And to show America what it doesn't know and what it should know. State of the regional the news groups slams Ramando for dodging questions. No, Ramando doesn't have to answer anything. <laughs> I said, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know some things. But like I said, you can answer, but you don't. Know, like Biden does, he answers, but he doesn't answer. Which is the nigga credit call. <sighs> Allegedly, that's what voted him in there, but I beg to differ. This one here, that's the president. Did Jill say something? <laughs> that's another thing, too. Jill, Jill, been having me on her mind. Biden, she been having me on her mind, man. You got to talk to him about that, Biden. You got to talk, <laughs> talk to Jill about that, Biden. No. As you, like I said, you stand at the podium. I don't need a podium. I have virtual reality. And you trying to get a hold of that, slowly but surely. I don't mind. It's just a part of the political um, game, man. And like I said, it's not check, it's jump for jump. It is a well-concentrated, well-thought-about, well-produced. Like I said, man, I get in Congress and persuader if you allow me but you don't want me nowhere near that's why you got so many barricades 
and so many soldiers at, at the front line. It's just me, man. It's just me, y'all. <laughs> Did you let moon in? Good, uh, you let moon in. Uh, it's like I said, man. You ain't the only one that should be able to smile and and, and uh in this political uh uphill battle, cause that's what it is. And you have to elect a vice president. Ex Google ex Google engineer among those pardoned. Like I said, man, I don't wanna go into who's getting pardoned or who's not. It's a it's a subliminal shot as to what you did to something very near and dear to me. That's why it's so such a subliminal shot with this pardon, this pardon, this pardon. And you should pardon something that's legitimately innocent <laughs> not something that's innocent and you want to make it seem innocent because you want to subliminally shot through the airwaves that you are superior in some way but in all reality it shows your weakness <laughs> oh man and I, I can't follow a weak leader I just can't <laughs> it has to be uh, able to take on any and everything. Mm, 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 mm. Sad, Biden. Call Obama, see if he gives you some ideas right now, man. <laughs> so, UNM President Strokes delivers State of the University Address. Listen, man, the state of the university, schools, and things are in dire need. But that need doesn't surpass the need of the humans. That need is even further than the need of universities. So, to put up this big spectacle and banner that everything is going back to normal, I beg to differ. Things are actually getting worse because you're pushing and peddling this agenda that doesn't work. It didn't work then, Biden. It just won't work now. You have to have something new, innovative. And you need that from a while. But I'm going to take a different approach with you. Because when I found out that you want to, you know, use that subliminal shots and all that other stuff, I realized that it's desperation. The same way Little Hands had desperation. I get to what's in the note that he left. <laughs> it's just, it's weighing heavy on the people's minds right now. Speaking from a nigga crappy point. And um, like I said, get your celebrable advertisements from that era that you're from by then. This is and will be a new era. With that being said, Peace, I gotta go.